Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Lisa. It's July 16, 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. It's actually a bit in the afternoon, but I wanted to wait and record today for a very good reason. Oh, but I should say first, for those of you coming back each week, thank you so much. And for those who are new, you're about to to, well, to get to know me. <laughs> And if you are on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're listening to this through my Facebook page, thank you so much. I think you click on to YouTube through the page anyway, but um, everyone is welcome. But I'm very grateful for you listening to this podcast because I do record this podcast in order to serve. So last week, I had to have what I call emergency surgery on both my legs. It all happened very quickly once it was discovered that I had stress fractures in both legs. And I've actually been walking around this earth with stress fractures for quite a while. And and that's really why I'm on this podcast today is to discuss all that entailed and how I was able to do that because it's a bit of a medical mystery. <laughs> so because I had this surgery last week, I was not in a place to walk up the stairs to my personal home office and record this. And it just wasn't comfortable enough in order for me to do in the main level of my home. But this week, I purposefully wanted to wait until I had company at home in order to navigate the stairs, come into my home office, and record this properly. So here we are. I'm working in my home office again after seven days, or yes, well, yes, eight days, because I came home last Saturday. So one of the most amazing things that I've been hearing from doctors, nurses, technicians, physical therapists. How are you able to walk? And how are you able to do so well now? You're navigating the steps. You're strong. You're lifting your legs in a way that, in a progression that you're not supposed to have. And here's my answer Uh, Well, I just smile at them and say, I don't know, but I know the answer because it didn't occur to me I couldn't, even though I had tremendous pain in my legs, feeling like a break in both legs, I was still able to walk. So nobody told me that I shouldn't be able to walk. So I just did it. I sometimes had have to hang on to things in the past to walk. It was a struggle at times, but I just did it. And you see, that goes to our belief systems because we have the power to do whatever we set our mind to. And so many people are told, well, you can't do that. You shouldn't be able to do this. And they choose to believe it. Thankfully, it wasn't known for a while what was going on. So I didn't have that outside voice coming into me and saying to me, you're not supposed to be walking right now. You can't walk right now. It is impossible. What are you doing? Maybe if I had heard that, it would have changed something. But I'm glad I didn't hear it in an odd kind of way because it speaks to the power of will, to the power of that ability to achieve whatever you set your mind to. What, where there's a will, there's a way. And we should never ever say can't if we really want to do something. I am unlimited. And in my walking, while I walked slower and had to hang, in, hang on to things, I did not have the limitations that I'm told I should have had. And that is good, as I said. What do you believe are your limitations? Who did you hear them from? 
don't believe it unless you want to. I've been walking around saying that for this isn't an illness, it came from medicine, what caused this issue. But I walk around saying all the time to people, I'm really healthy, and I am. I'm really healthy. But sometimes there are people that will look at me because I had a diagnosis over 10 years ago that choose to see me as unhealthy. To choose to say she's battling something or some other lower negative term. I am healthy and I am winning and I am thriving and I am successful. I don't know what battle they think I'm going through. Maybe it's the battle of believing what they wish to believe. But I am not battling. I'm too strong in my positive energy and belief system of not only who I am and what state I'm currently in, but also what I can achieve. Wellness overall. Oh, and sure, there are times when I'm tired. I have to watch out for burnout in my work. There are times when, yes, I need to take that break because of that. But overall, it has been a positive energy journey with the rewards of that, with the blessings. Now, I'm a spiritual teacher. So when I started to have some leg issues, I wanted to know What's going on here at an emotional and spiritual level? What can I learn from this? What is the blessing? And the answer I got was, it's actually the, not the first time in my life and not the first time in my adulthood, actually, <laughs> that I need to value myself more. I was talking with someone the other day and I realized that an issue that I have is when I feel that people don't value me. That's a bit of projection, I would believe. What I don't feel about myself is brought back to me. Have you had that experience as well? Where you don't love yourself enough and then others give you the feedback of that you're not lovable, that you're not enough, that you're not worthy. In my case, it's about value. And it comes up in my personal and my professional life. But I can tell you honestly, especially in the last week, I've grown in how I feel about myself and that value. And I've grown as a person. And I like how I've grown. Just this morning, I asked myself, who are you in a situation that was brought to me? Who are you in this? Who do you wish to be? And I decided that I always wish to be that person who thinks of others, who knows how important family and friendships are and I like that because it can be so easy at times to to say I'm going to cut that person loose or distance myself but I've decided I like who I am and I'm going to stay that way in that regard. Get to know yourself, who you are. What do you like about yourself? And really love it. Now sometimes, this doesn't mean by the way, 
in liking yourself, in deciding what to do with the relationships, that you should allow yourself to be mistreated, to not be considered. That's so important because it's an act of self-love. You're here to navigate this journey, this story of yours. You create your story. How do you want it to be? Who do you want in it? I was saying this morning that I want more. I want an upgrade in certain areas. And I made, I said it out loud, even though I wasn't alone, I said it out loud because I know by saying it out loud, it makes an intention. It puts the energy out there and brings it back. It is all right to ask for upgrades. It is all right to see what you want and to ask for it. The unit, by the way, the law of attraction, which is an actual natural law, that is run by the universe. The universe supplies and answers you. It's running on autopilot. It's responding to you anyway. So when you say, I can't do something, it says, okay. When you are asking for abundance, but feeling like you don't have enough, it answers those feelings of not having enough. Because when we feel it, we'll often say it. And we'll often think it. So it responds to your very nature. It responds to everything you put out. And every expert about it, everyone who uses it deliberately and is very successful in their lives has had moments when it's been doing its thing and they're not purposefully co-creating with it. Everybody can get off track, but it's very important to feel, to really feel gratitude and love and speak as if what you would want in your life, you already have and to feel that too. Even if you just pulled off a moment, a minute, a day, that's still more powerful and will bring better blessings to you. Well, better and blessings are kind of even. (laughs) You still will work on your behalf rather than, and intentionally, rather than in a more accidental way without thinking it. Deliberate instead of not deliberate. Any bit you can do to help is important. This time for me is a time of going to the next chapter. But also, even before I went into surgery, I was told, you're going to have to step back and rest. It's important to rest. I'm one, though, that wants to keep serving and working and not let people down. But yes, I have listened. And for those of you who are clients of mine currently, especially anyone who may have an appointment coming up, I just want to thank you. 99.99% so far have been very kind, have said, put you first. That's what matters. Reschedule me when you can. I have been very, I've been very gratified by the reaction to this time. I'm just so grateful. So very, very grateful. For the kindness of humanity towards me. I've been treated very well. And 
Yes, occasionally. It's only happened once. Where someone is not in that place. But when someone is not in a kind place, they need kindness the most. They need love and understanding the most. You don't have to say it to them. You just flow it out to them. And then that makes the world a better place. It really does. So, the topic, because I always tell you what the weekly topic is. Believe in your own unlimitedness and not in the limitations that you're told you should have. I am a bit of a medical enigma. <laughs> I don't know. If you've ever seen the original vacation movie with Chevy Chase, there's a scene in that movie where he's not paying attention to road signs. The road is closed. He goes through it and he ends up leaping his truckster station wagon into the middle of the desert. And his son says to him something to the effect, wow, dad, that's how far you went. That must be something like 50, 100, 200 feet. And he has this moment of pride in it, like, yeah. <laughs> I have to say to you, when people have been telling me, professionals, you shouldn't have been able to walk. How did you do it? There is a part of me that is Clark Griswold. <laughs> and I don't know if that is strange or not strange. But I will say to you that there was a time that we were told that someone could not run a four minute mile and then someone did. We're told a lot, it's not possible that can happen and then it does. It happens because of the power of the subconscious mind. If you run something in your mind over and over again, it's gonna happen. That's what Olympic athletes do. They run the race. They run the performance over and over and over in their minds. And then they do it. I had a will to be mobile. I had a will to walk, to go to work, to go on a trip. To go and help people with taking them to their appointments. I had a will so I did it. I did what wasn't possible. But now I am in the process of healing and I won't have to worry about that again. As long as I take care of myself during this rehabilitation, which I am, and I'm getting it done. I hope that you have connected with this understanding. Do not let another human being or history limit you in what can be done. When people, I, I watched the Wimbledon finals this morning. I always watch to see how's the will going with each player because it's the one with the will to win the most that wins. That's why I don't bet on sports. <laughs> because it's not based on statistics or history. It's based on where our wills and the wills can change the last minute. There was a young lady yesterday who won. And they said to her, how is it possible you won? Because this time last year, you were a spectator because you were in a cast. Because she didn't think 
that it was impossible. She had nothing to lose. She was just thrilled to be there. She didn't feel or hear Kent. And today, the young man. I've been dreaming about this since I was born. I've been envisioning it. I was in the joy, was happy to be here. He didn't give up anyone. Even though there were experts that said the other player would win. It doesn't matter what others say. It doesn't matter what is on paper, what has been done before. It only matters what you believe and what your will is. And if you are unstoppable, no one else can stop you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Please be sure to check out my website for all my services at lisahop.com. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It would it would just make me so happy. <laughs> I would appreciate it so very much. Thank you. I hope you have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week.